feeling lost, being rejected, don't know what to do with life. If you're watching this, chances are maybe you're like my 25 year old self, feeling lost, shy, or unsure where you're headed. Life might feel like a constant tsunami. It feels like the world is overwhelming you, like you're not good enough, or you're too quiet to be heard. If life feels overwhelming to you, feels like you're not good enough, you don't know what you're worth, this video is for you. I was shy, introverted, and not confident in my 20s. Life actually do become better in your 30s. I wish someone had told me that. You thank yourself for being there, not knowing what to do, and take the life lessons together with you. Grow into your confidence, grow into your certainties, and grow into your more self-assured years. I just turned 35 today. I want to share these 35 lessons with you. I've learned through many rejections, many setbacks, many failures. I've been there. If I can do it, you can do it too. Those are the 35 lessons I've learned in 35 years. Are you ready? Let's go. So lesson number one is everything can go wrong will possibly go wrong but everything will also be fine at the end what i've learned just today about this lesson is when i woke up i wanted to record this video i have all my script down i'm ready to go but can i find my normal tripod current tripod i'm using i'm missing that piece to put it together with my camera and then i was completely freaked out but then i calmed myself down i decided to do yoga then i figured i can one borrow an extra tripod from my neighbor who just lived in the same building at the end of the day when i was doing this video actually i figured my camera actually can fit into this mount for iPhone, it solved the issue completely for me and it's just so worth nothing to worry about all of those stuff and even if I think at the end of the day I couldn't record it today, I can always record it like tomorrow or the day after so everything can go wrong, possibly go wrong but actually it's most of the time better than we think. Second lesson is everyone is winging it, we are all driving the plane while designing it at the same time. We all have our imperfections, we can be hurt, we can be rejected but that's okay, that's also normal for everyone in the world. Lesson number three is look after your health. I learned that way later in my 20s. I never was someone who's enjoy working out or going to the gym. I just don't have the confidence in me. I, I'm not good at sports in any shape or form, but you can always start. Find a workout that you enjoy, find a routine to build up on the habit and also uh, learn how to cook, learn what's nutritious, what's good for you, eat vegetables, eat good high quality protein, sleep more, and stay away from those addictive distractions. Have a good healthy body makes everything easier to handle. Like these days, I, I caught this horrible cold in London and then I was just has been sick for the past week. It just make me feel like I don't know whether every day I've been productive and then become frustrated. Had I not caught this cold, it would be so much easier to record this video ahead of time. I would be also be more productive. People are saying that healthy men have many problems, but the unhealthy men only have one problem. Number four is read more books, read over a hundred books in the past few years. It has helped me in many, many different ways. It's the fastest way to expand your mind, to calm your soul, and to find the answers that you're looking for. So number five is transformation. It doesn't happen overnight, but it also takes less time than you think. Growth happens when you're being comfortable of uncomfortable, stepping outside of your comfort zone and get into the trenches, get into the field, do it every day you get one percent better every day and then the growth is exponential remember people who look effortless on stage it took them a lot of time to be effortless they have taken many many hours or even many years to be there i have this 60 day rule the 60 day is just enough to build the momentum to accomplish something to build a habit for you to be able to step onto that momentum and keep it going for the transformational effects to happen it sometimes even take less than 60 days but just 10 days won't cut lesson number six is start a personal finance plan early it's never too late to start but it's always good to start early and set up those automatic spending habit automatic paying back your credit card setting up your investment scheme set it up and then live your life also 
don't match up with your friend's spending capability. The money that you don't spend is actually the money that you earn. And everyone comes with their unique upbringing. Even if on the paper you earn as much as they do, they might not have the same things that comes with your unique background. So think about on your own terms, what do you want to spend on? Lesson number seven is smile more. It's actually anti-aging. This morning I was talking to a friend. She's like, actually when you smile, you have wrinkles. Yeah, sure, I have wrinkles. But have you ever noticed this muscle here, if you smile more, you actually use it more often. It just help you to have the, this lifting effects on your face. Also, when you smile, you actually project this energy to the world. You become more approachable, people want to talk to you more. As a result, you actually have greater opportunity and luck compared to other people. So smile more. Number eight, chin up, be proud, and stand tall. Uh, posture really matters. That's something I learned very late. That also comes with when you're working out more and when you like practice yoga and that kind of stuff. When you stand up taller, when you approach the world, differently it almost feels like you're only in this place and this confidence project to the space that you're in it actually helps a lot number nine is it's okay to miss out don't be formal it's fine the best gift you can build for yourself is being able to be content to to being alone and spend some time be yourself Number 10, it's either a good time or a good story. We all have hard, hard times, we all go through life. The difference is how you interpret those hard times. What matters is how we deal with it and what we get out of it. Don't be a victim of life. Number 11, remind yourself that you are lucky. Even the hard times can become a good story. Most often, it's not the end of the world and it's being grateful about the small things along the way and gratitude actually helps you see the little wins along the way. The number 12, learn how to say no, it's a superpower. I know it's very difficult, especially when you're um, not sure about yourself, when you're introvert, but learn how to communicate your boundaries and saying no firmly, it's a great skill set. Just try to practice it a little bit. Learn how to deal with hard conversations upfront and early. Lesson number 13 is learn to ask why and then ask why not. Learn to ask the second layer of why always help you to think more critically so you're not getting somebody else's 100%. You start to think for yourself and you start to seek for the questions. Lesson number 14, start a failure journal. Treat failure as a data point, not a dead end. It's good to collect the data point as if you're conducting an experiment and see how you can improve from there. So lesson number 15 is the truth is nobody is thinking about you as much as you, as you think they do. Think about it. how often do you think of other people? Not that often. It's the same is true for other people. So if you let go of how much you think, oh, if I do this, the other people will think I'm this and that, um, I'll be embarrassed, that um, people wouldn't like me. Just rest assured, there's this thing called spotlight effect. Actually, nobody is really thinking about you all the time. Unless like family, maybe, um, but normal everyday people, they don't really think about you often. So that really helps you to lose some of the burden that you put on your mind about overthinking. Lesson number 16, stay curious and keep that inner child alive. You know, we all have that inner child in our heart, actually, no matter how old you are. That inner child is curious about everything. Every day is looking for new things to learn and to connect with the world. Sometimes we forget about that. Try to keep that alive for yourself. Lesson number 17 is take control. Be the CEO of your life. There is one relationship that matters the most in our life is the relationship with ourselves. No one else gets to tell you how you can live this life. No one else is living this life for you and you know the best for yourself. Take control even if it's scary at first, even if it feels like I don't know what will happen if I take this job. I don't know what will happen if I move to that city. But this is your life. You take the risk and you get the reward. You'll be amazed at what you can accomplish at the end. Lesson number 18 is when you take control of, of your life, remember to choose the environment that lifts you up. Choose the city that exposes you to the most opportunities and luck you can find. Find the friends who show you how life could be because of their own experience and dreams. Surround yourself with people who have inspirations and purpose in life. Lesson number 19 is go travel. Travel around the world, travel to the extent that you can. 
travel to a different culture, travel solo by yourself, travel with your friends. Learn something new about other culture and understand that there's a limit the way that we grow up. It's so much to be seen in the world. Try to move to a brand new city and start your life there. Talk to local people, journal down what you've experienced, understand what's universal and what's different. Remember kindness, sunshine and laughter. Be a traveler, not a tourist. Number 20, God or whatever higher power you believe in or luck helps you only after you start helping yourself. Number 21, plan things for your friends and family. Relationships matters the most and it really takes time for us to take care of it the way that we take prioritize work. Prioritize those relationships. Number 22, hold on to the people who help you when you have nothing, especially when you have nothing, especially when you're going through setbacks and rejections in life. Hold on to those people for life and keep them close to you. Lesson number 23, life is an improvisation. It will never be the perfect time. Sometimes you have to start before you're ready. There's never a perfect time to start, so why not say yes and start today and see what happens. See what life will can bring to you if you just start today. Lesson number 24, invest in yourself. is You'll get the best return on investment, whether it's on health, on education, on relationship, on experience. Something that's invested is called capital. Something that's spent is cost. Lesson number 25, the only thing that's certain in life is uncertainty. Lesson number 26, Everything is a skill that can be learned with the right mindset. You always find a way to learn the things that matters to you, that you are motivated to. I used to be super bad at all kinds of sports. I was never athletic. And then I ended up becoming a certified instructor. Um, I became a certified nutrition coach. That surprises me the most. And now even when I look back to my memories, that's actually one of those proudest things that I actually can do things that I don't believe I can. But everything is a skill. If I can learn it, you can too. If I can do that, you can too. That's also lesson number 27, which is why it's never too late to learn something new. Question the status quo, create, start fresh. Start from the beginning, start from scratch. Start as if you've never got anything, just start. That's how we grow up, right? We encounter new situations and then we learn and then we build on that experience. So always start something new. You find that your mind is fresher, your heart is lighter, and your days just become more interesting because of that. Lesson number 28, don't compare your inside with other people's outside. Everyone's life looks grammable on Instagram, of course, because that's filtered and edited. People are not living their Instagram life you are also living your real life in high resolution 4K. That's why you experience all of those ups and downs, which is fine. You don't need to have all figured out by the age of 30 or something. Live your own life and stay at your own pace. The people that you are jealous about today might not be the people that you'll still be jealous about in five to 10 years. For the same reason, stay away from gossip. Let other people waste their time talking about somebody else's life who doesn't even matter to them. Number 29, when you feel lost, move. Go for a walk, uh, meditate, do yoga, call a friend, or even like call a friend and walk in nature at the same time. That's usually the best combination. Move your body but pause your mind when you feel lost. Sometimes that's the best way. Number 30, life is supposed to be full of problems. That's why we're here, solving the problems. The bigger the pain, the bigger the game. The moments that challenges you the most are often the moments that uh, propel the greatest growth. It's okay if you're feeling lost now. It's okay if you're feeling that every day is tough because you're climbing uphill. Number 31, live your life so you won't become those people who say, I wish I had. You only live once. Be the person to live your life to the fullest. Be the person to say, I would rather try and fail rather than fail to try. Be a scientist of your life. Set assumptions and go through experiments. This thing works for me, that thing didn't. Try an error several times and find what best fits you, value-wise, life-wise, health-wise, lifestyle-wise, the life that you are most comfortable. Try an error and you will find the love and joy along the way. Number 32, be kind, no matter 
whether the other party is poor or rich, no matter what their status is. Be kind to people because you don't know what they're going through in their life. Never be those people who say, because I'm this and that, I don't have time for bracket to put into these people. That's very sad. Think about how you wanted to be treated and treat other people the same way. Number 33, you are beautiful, you are enough. Don't just go down to the downward spiral of I'm not enough, I'm not good looking, I need to be five pounds less, I need to fit into that dress, um, I'm not as good as my friends. You wouldn't say those horrible things like you're not enough to your friends, right? So don't say that to yourself. You replace it with phrases like you are enough, you're on track to become your best self. You should be the best friend of yourself and treat yourself that way. Number 34, fall in love wholeheartedly and experience heartbreak when it comes. Not every single experience or relationship are supposed to work out, which is normal. You need only one relationship that matters to you the most that will work out. So be grateful about every experience. Be grateful about that person who walks in life together with you for maybe several years, maybe several months, especially when you're in your 20s. Those are your defining years and decades. Those experiences are also like a treasure in your memory as well. Learn not to hold grudge about it because everyone is just going through life learning about themselves the first time, about their imperfections, about their flaws, about the way that they should be in relationship. When your heart gets broken, cry. Cry as if there's no other things in life. Talk to friends, travel. Use this as an opportunity. So let the light shine into your broken heart for new things to happen, for new relationships and connections if you create the room for those things to happen. Final one, lesson number 35. When you feel lost, look back to five years ago, look back to 10 years ago, look back and see how far you've come, how much you've traveled. Your younger self will be amazed at where you are at life right now. Your younger self will be like, you are living the dream of my life. How can you not be happy? Think about that often and be grateful of how much you've come in life. So thank you for watching this video. Those are the 35 lessons I want to share with you on my 35th birthday. If you're in your 20s, it's normal to feel like every day is really tough. Your 20s are supposed to be full of changes and uncertainty. You only live this life the first time you've encountered all of those situations, starting a new job, moving to a new city. All of those are not supposed to be easy. You're finding yourself. And the more you take care of yourself, invest in yourself, build a relationship that matters to you the most. Believe that you'll be able to change. Believe that there is room and magic will happen in the future. You've got this. Which of those lessons resonate with you the most? Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Share it with the people who need to see this. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel goes a long way. And I will see you next time.